Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we're going to be playing newly launched game Outriders. Now it's not the type of game I normally play on this channel, but I fell in love with it when I streamed the demo. I love my character. I'm super interested in the story and the lore and the world is super engaging. It really caught me by surprise and I thought I have to share this with you all. And I'm so excited for the opportunity to do so today thanks to our sponsors, Outriders and NVIDIA. Now, if you follow me on social media, you may have seen a little unboxing video I did of a GeForce RTX 3080 that NVIDIA was so generous to send to me. It is... Outriders can be enhanced with NVIDIA DLSS technology, which basically means higher frame rates higher resolutions. It is so, so amazing. Click the link in the description below to learn a little bit more about it and see how much your game performance can be enhanced with DLSS tech and to support those who support this channel. I cannot wait to show you how beautiful this game is with DLSS, so please do enjoy this gameplay video. We're going to enter our options menu straight from the starting lobby. We're gonna go up at the top here, click display, scroll down a little bit to NVIDIA DLSS. And you can see the blurb here on the side says, NVIDIA DLSS uses deep learning to improve game performance at maximum graphics settings. DLSS requires NVIDIA RTX graphic card. That's because this is exclusive tech to NVIDIA GeForce RTX cards. And the whole idea is higher resolutions, better frame rates, and it uses AI processing to do all sorts of fancy technology stuff. But the idea is if you are a gamer that really likes high quality play, this is the setting for you. There's really no reason not to have it on because you have four different options here. You have ultra performance, performance, balanced, and quality, and that's so that you can find the right setting that works for you and your PC best. It could boost your 4K performance up to 75%, so why wouldn't you wanna have it on if you can? For me, I've been playing on quality and it is magnificently beautiful. I cannot wait to show you how beautiful it is, so let's get on to this prologue. Earth was dead. We had destroyed it. Two colony ships were built to carry us across the stars. Only one ship made it. We're all that's left. After an 83 year journey, we orbit our new home. The planet Enoch. Humanity's last damn chance. I love how the music kicks in there. It's so good. Board one, Flores Command. You are clear to begin descent to surface. Copy. Disengaging. Initiating auxiliary thrusters. Command, we are 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition set to 30%. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Mode 1, we are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Mode 1. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod 1 has landed. Pod 1 has landed on an alien planet. It sure seems to look a lot like Earth at first. I love the scale of that shot. How you think you're looking at a normal sized door until it Almost pans like down home. and you That's see the human me. size. Well, boss. You're ready. Got my truck. It's 
such an epic opening. And I feel like it's like so much in part to the music. It's so good. I want snipers at three and six, multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home. And no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green like this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. Good old fashioned pep talk. You know, just landed on an alien planet for the first time in humanity pep talk. Standard stuff. Isn't that so like humanity? Beautiful nature, and we're just gonna drive right through it. We're just gonna drive right through. That tree doesn't matter. I'm gonna scout ahead on foot. Need to stretch my damn legs. I'll take point. Don't need to see you get eaten on day one. Relax, Outrider. You don't owe me anything. Cap, I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. Look how pretty <sighs> this world is. Would you smell that air? I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't mind the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth, and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. So we're getting a little bit more of the backstory here. She was never supposed to be an Outrider. But the Outriders that were trained and prepped for this, to, to be the first explorers of the new home of humanity uh they didn't make it we'll make camp here outrider set a beacon flag let hq know the area secure oh hello just a little wild beast don't mind me i'm just here to plant a flag as humanity does All right, people, we got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. Our weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, I was one of the ones who made it. 
Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming, you're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here, build a cabin, grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's not me, Cap. No my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Doesn't it make you so interested to think about how you would be in this world? What role you'd fill? What would have gotten you a seat on this ship away from a dying planet so that you could rebuild an essential part of humanity? What would that be for you? Isn't that so interesting to think about? I love it. Did any more of your people make it off Earth, Cap? My brother. Almost. But no. They got him in cryo as we evacuated L.A. Hoping we could stop the bleeding. But he was too far gone. Oh, shit. Sorry to hear that. I haven't had the time to think about it. What about Sarah? She's good, right? Yeah. My Sarah's up there. They don't wake her group for another six months, but I can wait. I'm, uh... I didn't have a chance to tell you this and all the madness, but... My little girl's pregnant. That's how I got her the seat. <laughs> it's a two-for-one special, huh? So that's why you've been in such a good mood since they unfroze your ass. Don't push it out, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Granddad, sir. So we get a little backstory on him and what motivates him, what makes him happy, what his role is going to be. I imagine he's been dreaming of this cabin on this you know, new planet of Eden, an Eden-like planet. But he's been dreaming about that for a long time. It's pretty cool. All those 83 years in cryo, I bet. I'll go find Jakob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. So the probes they keep talking about, we had sent probes from the spaceship in orbit down to Enoch to get some data on it and figure out, you know, where we should land, what we should bet on, make our plan, and uh, we're not getting any signals. Well, look at him. He's like trying to figure out this like fur and trumpet plant thing. You're like, what is this? This is so strange. What if I poke it? What happens then? Anyways. <laughs> that would be me. I would land on an alien planet and immediately be like, what's going on here? Poke, poke, poke. I, I would be the first to die, no doubt. Absolutely no doubt about that. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way. We tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look. It was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. 
other than the Captain Cusper. You're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. So it paints this picture of what it was like to try to get on this ship leaving a dying planet. It tells you that like everybody would have killed, did kill to get on and they couldn't and they didn't. And the ship left and everybody left on earth was like, well, can you imagine? What do you make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too, it... Maybe we won't. Sure. Maybe this is really it. Maybe. We can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows. Stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. I want this to work. You have no idea. But, huh? People don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. All right, let's do target to practice. My gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Time for the pew 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 pews. You know, us strange rebels. We love the finger guns. Look how pretty this valley Fancy is. I can't stuff. stand yeah, it. A new toy. Beautiful You're waterfall. The first one to test it out, boss. Think you could take on a tank? Probably not. Nice. Haven't lost your touch. Damn. Somehow 80 years has improved. Now give that sidearm a try, eh? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Just like riding a bike. Just like riding a bike misses every fourth shot. They're coming in from above! Take them out! They're- they're not very good at defense. They're- they're kind of bad at it. Honestly. They're just very poorly equipped to handle moi. Yep. Still got it. Outrider, check on our ECA rep. See if Shears found any probes yet. All right, we're gonna check on the probe finder. Maybe I'm overthinking Ooh. this, but journal if entry. Wrong, if shit That's is another thing about this game that I'm loving so far. So many sure. things to take. Take you, take, 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 take. So this journal entry is a closed meeting transcript of the year 2032. Scientist is saying, "I'll take your questions now." And the delegates are saying, are these earthquakes natural? Was last year's underground nuke responsible? Underground nuke? What is that? Scientists are like, we don't know. It is unclear whether this is caused by natural or man-made forces. And, then it de and the delegates like, can the destruction be contained? And the scientist is like, we don't know. But our model suggests that the next tectonic wave, a 9.7, will strike South America in three months. There will be more tectonic movements after that, and they will grow stronger and more frequent until the continents start repositioning. The delegates are like, ah, but sea levels are already rising. We can't take. How long until Earth no longer supports life? The scientist is like, our best estimate. Earth will be incapable of sustaining life beyond the end of the century. Angry shouting interrupts meeting. <laughs> Closed meeting reconvened. 
Uh, so now the findings are to remain classified and none of these matters are to be made public. And then they're saying, well, we can't stay in Earth. And they're saying, well, what do we do? And then they're saying, well, let's build an ark ship capable of transporting us to the nearest habitable planet. And there is a capacity for 500,000 passengers, half a million people. And there's like sounds of disapproval. And then they're like, we can't do that. The Star Trek convention is down the road. And then they're talking about the floating city, which they'll burn, they'll, they'll build that on the surface of the ocean. So it, isn't it interesting how the lore of this game really fully fleshes out what the last few years of Earth was really like. Some people had the idea of let's just leave Earth, let's start over on a new planet, and some people were like, no, let's save what we have. We can build a city on that floats on the ocean. That way we're not gonna be susceptible to rising sea levels or earthquakes, we'll be okay, and we'll have you know the, the benefit of knowing what we know about Earth already. And so different people are coming up with these different solutions, which is pretty much, you know, what we're doing now um, in fighting climate change. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this third. Hey, you're Shira, right? Huh. I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now. If only we had an internet to post those to. Huh. It's from a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing was backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. It's just... How can the probe's signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Ah, from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I get answers to? <laughs> Shira's like, can you get off my back, please? We just landed. <laughs> Sorry, Shira. How is this colonization gonna work? You're in the planning rooms, right? Yes. We've already started disassembling the engine. We need to bring that down first. The nuclear core should give us enough power to get the colony up and running. And when do the civilian pods start coming down? Within a few weeks, if all goes well. First, just enough people and resources to get our infrastructure running. You know, water, food, and shelter. Then we'll keep working folks from cryo, a few thousand at a time, no more than we can feed. Until before you know it, you'll be standing in the middle of a city. And meanwhile, the Flores stays up there? The ship was built in orbit. It was never meant to land. We'll have to keep it in our skies until we're capable of space flight again. One day, maybe. Isn't it interesting that they, they just were like, this is our only shot. This ship was never meant to land. It's meant specifically to orbit. We're not gonna be, and we're using the engine to power rebuilding our infrastructure. This is the last, the only time we get to do this. We have to do it right. No pressure. All right, tell me the truth. You think the ECA's thought this whole plan through? Well, my father was part of the team that designed the plan. My entire life he helped prepare for this day. The greatest undertaking of human history. Oh, so that's how you got on the ship, huh? Daddy smoothed your way? No, I studied engineering. Spent years in orbit, designed structure, drilling rivets into the hull. I helped build that ship. So you earned your way on. Good for you. It was my father. Just not like the way you thought. He gave up his place for me. He stayed behind. Shit, I'm, uh... Sorry. 
He would have been in all. Our outrider was a little bit like, oops. Maybe shouldn't have brought that up. Just me. It's strange not knowing anyone here. When this is over, come hang out with us. We're not such a bad bunch. I might take you up on that. I'm sure that's a great position for humanity to be in. Half a million people who don't know each other, have never met each other, but have to work together to save their species. Oh, but also everyone they know and love is dead. Awkward! Hey, is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 that's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal, it's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific <laughs> record, huh? Selfie! <laughs> Her outrider is so goofy. Alright. Uh, what's next? We gonna go... Yes! Get the probe! Heads up, I got movement. Nine o'clock, something big. All units stay alert. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. How oh. pretty it is here. I got eyes on oh. some kind of hyena looking cow things. Yeah, I'm seeing them over here too. A whole herd of them. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarians? Herbivores? We call them herbivores? Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. No, they're. They're astonishing. I bet they can be domesticated for farming. Uh, I bet they make some fat, juicy steaks. <laughs> uh, one of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority, but if I can get close without spooking it, I'll try. If I can get close without spooking it. Nah. Nah. Off, but I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some kind of storm brewing. Cap, found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal, but something's weird about this one. Weird? The bitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data, I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, Outriders. Rendezvous back with the convoy. Let's go find that stray. So we're, first of all, admiring the beauty of this planet. The first time I saw this, I was watching this kind of like geyser thing come up. And I was trying to think if this was like a natural, um, like geological phenomenon, like a like a geyser, or if this was actually some kind of creature that was kind of traveling through the water and spouting up in different spots. How cool is that? And that's why I just, even though this is not the type of game that I normally play, ever since playing the demo, I'm just like in the world. I'm like in it. Everything about it ignites my imagination. I'm just so engaged. I just love it. It feels like every little detail has been thought through, which I just, I love details. Gotta respect a good, good game with details. And I'm so curious what these little alien planet atmospheric floaties are. Don't you just want to know? What are hey, these little floaties? Any updates? The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. 
There. And how good is the VO? Oh my gosh, I wish Hope I knew all who all these VO artists were. I wish they'd update the IMDB already because I'm obsessed mm. with all these actors. Yeah, mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishcha. <laughs> Epic aspirational music continues. Piece of shit. <laughs> Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Soldier, your primary focus, Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. Gotta protect the scientists. <coughs> Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing, I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Oh, back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Stay back. God damn it. It does make you wonder why they decided to first start exploring this alien planet without any sort of protective headgear. It does sort of make you wonder why they don't, you know, have breathe through a filter Got maybe at first. Pump. It's only humanity's last chance. Caution. I got movement. Throw it away. Heading in. Gosh, isn't our Outrider pretty? I love her. It didn't happen on purpose. I just fell in love with her on accident. Potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it, Tanner. I told you both that it's not to go mess up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me. Maxwell. Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? But we need to collect samples. Maybe we don't need to collect samples of the deadly black gunk. Just a thought. Oh, we can just be friends, hyena looking cow thing. I don't think we can just be friends. Okay, you want to play? Then let's play. It's fine. I just learned how to dodge. Captain, Poor hyena I got looking attacked by cow, one of those thing. cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Copy that out, Ryder. Now move your ass and find that probe. That looks like our probe. That looks like our missing probe. Tanner, I found it. Good work. Get the drive, so get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner, the signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Damn it! Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh, carrier frequency is nine seven point. Uh, Tanner, do you copy? Oh shit! 
It's a little weird, floating rocks. Just a little. Tanner? Tanner! I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. What the fuck? gonna want to run away from this craziness. didn't explode. Ah! Isn't that interesting? By the way. Kurva. Kurva! It's taking that whole truck! Oh my gosh! Uh-oh. He's got the black yeah, mycelium. Possible contamination. I need quarantine set up at base. You copy? Uh, uh, shit. Yuck. And that's why you wear a mask. Maxwell, Protect yourself and others. Mask like? up. Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Oh. 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 I don't know why this guy is so intent on making a bad decision. Or why our hand is glowing. <sighs> Strange. It doesn't seem human. <laughs> Tanner here! We need help! <laughs> We need medics! See to them! Hurry! No, stop. They're contaminated. If we contain them, that's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you! We got men and women in need of medical attention! Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to f <sighs> No! Contain this! Now! Burn the fucking body! But we liked him. And now, we need revenge. That won't abide, no sir. I'll take care of the wounded. Just hold them back. Yako, cover me. I'm going after Maxwell. I got you. Outriders, stand down. That's an order. For Cap. Right after you call off your goddamn goons. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the forest. Your outriders are the ones who stirred up this threat, imperiled this mission. Bullshit. Got a new rifle. Definitely gonna use that. It's not a rifle. It's a well, it's an assault rifle. Oh! Use 
Excuse me. Um, I'm here to make Maxwell pay. Oh, we don't have a melee yet. <laughs> Can you tell I've played this game a little bit? Maxwell set up a blocker. He's gonna burn everything down. Why? So he can tell the story his way. I'm yeah, not we're not gonna be able to let Maxwell do that. That's not gonna work for us. Maxwell is the only one who can call up the landing. You need to get into your region. Who we'll put Maxwell in charge anyway? He's clearly no good under pressure. I do wonder though, like what is his motivation for this? Why is he so motivated to get these people landing to their death? Kill the traitors! Don't let them ah. out! Hello. I think you should go down. That was shockingly, shockingly easy. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to die. Do the right thing. You killed our friend. Call it in. Postpone the fucking landing. It's too late. Uh, uh. Hey, you, and you, help me with the wounded. We have to get them to Metla. Over here! Come on, move your asses! Thanks, Shira. Doing her best. Doing her best to be a voice of reason in here. Almost there. You're gonna be fine. Make it happen. What are you doing? I'm putting you back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Pep talks aren't really my thing. I love that line so much. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. You, what year are you from? Year, what year? What? Is this your pod? Where were the uplink nodes? Come on, Doc. We need to go. They're coming. Wait, we can't just leave them here. These are outriders. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. Eloquent. And so it seems things are not quite how we left them. Come on, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Captain! <laughs> not another one! I'll try there. Does your kind was all dead? Dead? Uncuff me and find out! <laughs> the anomaly's coming. See how fast you can run! The no man's land! Like the others! Get to no man's land. We've got to stick together if we want to survive. Survive what? Getting our asses fried by the big storm. Hey, I told you to shut the hell up. We're here. Come on. 
Go back! Go back! What the hell's happening? They've got an altar to tear your guys apart! You need to get out of here! But where? The storm's coming! You think the altar care about a storm? Uh, shit, shit, shit! Uh, Take the back way through the bridge! Uh, We're not gonna make uh, it! Let's just talk about it here and get the cover! And rob the captain of his show or you're out of your gun! Watch out! Uh, okay, see? It's a little bit of chaos everywhere around here, huh? Uh, So this world seems like a violent one. Help! Your man was wounded! That's better that way! Don't struggle! Go, go, go! How long? How long has it been? What? This, this war, how fucking long? Who knows? Since before I was born! That's fucking impossible! Come on, open the goddamn gate! And move! Hold tight, almost there! Almost where? Where are you taking us? I'm not supposed to be- What the hell is the matter with you? You just wake up or something? Cryo, I just- Literally, yes. Well, let me catch we did. real quick. That paradise you Outriders promised us, guess what we got instead? Goddamn alien storms! No shelter, no food. Just kick to the curb like exiles while your ECA pals got fat in their bunker! Bullshit! It wasn't like that! We lost electronics! We could have left you all the rot in your cryopods! But we did it! We saved you ungrateful! <laughs> How many times did I tell you to shut up? <laughs> Maybe once or twice? It's it's sorry, buddy! Welcome you told to us we had to stick together! Oh, dead bodies. A lot of dead bodies. Oh. <laughs> this is post-apocalyptic if I've ever seen it. And we're not even on Earth. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he, oh. Yes. Ugh. This can't be happening. You people are insane. All of this is fucking insane. Oh, yeah, it is. <sighs> Time to walk no man's land, pal. So that's brutal. This is brutal. This world, brutal. And at every point during the game, if it if ever you forget that it's brutal, they're gonna be like, don't forget, this game is brutal. Fuck. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Like I said, brutal. And here is where we pick our class. So we, I kind of go between Technomancer and Pyromancer as the classes that I like to play. I've tried Technomancer, Pyromancer, and Trickster, and I really didn't like Trickster. I don't like close range. I like to be far back. So for this playthrough, I'm gonna select Technomancer so that we can play around with those turrets and I can show you the freeze abilities and it's really cool. Manipulate the anomaly to animate constructs and bend them to your will, aiding allies and killing enemies from afar. As the Technomancer, you will recover a portion of the damage you deal as health. So that's the really cool thing about this game in particular is the healing mechanic is based on the damage that you do. So Pyromancer only recovers health when enemies marked by your skills are killed. Trickster only get, gets healed with each enemy killed in close range, heals you and grants a portion of shield. And for Devastator, you recover health from slain enemies that stood too close. So also uh, close range death. So 
Technomancer is the only one that doesn't rely strictly on kills to heal, uh, which definitely suits me. So we're going to click Technomancer. But that's why this game is so uh, action-oriented and fast-paced and very offensive is because if you want to live, you have to do damage. You have to get kills, which makes it really, really fun. Technomancer it is. Just casually pulling out a metal rod from your heart and then standing up and walking through. Okay. <laughs> Wouldn't you feel kind of the same way? If you did that, you'd be like, well, that was unexpected. What's next, I wonder? I get to, to the get other side of the battlefield. I just gotta get across this hellhole. Whatever the fuck's happening. Look how pretty it is, side. though. Isn't this just, like, what the... so oh, crazy? Shit. Let's see, we have an ability here. I'm not sure what that ability is. Let's check it out real quick here. We have... Scrap and I'll throw a proximity mine. Alright, cool. Ooh! Ooh! Who the hell are you people? And what are they doing out here in the anomaly storm? Okay, let's see how far we can throw this mine. Did I do that? Oh, How good! We nailed them! Look at that! To me. <laughs> we did great! That proximity mine is awesome! Look at that! Ooh! Take, take, take. We got some boots and some trousers. Ooh, what's in here? Uh-oh. Let's put those on real quick. Ooh, okay! Neat! Oh, they're already pre-equipped. Okay, great. Are they... running from me? All right. I could get used to this. I could get used to this. Why would you be scared of me? Two enemies. And you're done. Absolutely done for. Could you just... Yeah, just pop out there. There we go. I also want to show you all melee. Oh, did I leave one alive already? Oh, well. Can't have that, can we? Certainly not. I like the Technomancer's melee ability because it has this sort of cryo freeze sort of uh, ability with it. Look at that. You're just falling. Just it's falling down. These flares. This storm. I've seen this before. In the forest. When we landed. It's just honestly like. It's such a fun game, and it's just a bonus that it's so beautiful that the way that they've decided like aesthetic of this world is just so cool looking. Ooh. Look, I freeze him with my melee. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I see you there. Let me just throw a mine in your general direction. Just in your general direction. Don't mind me. This can't be real. It is. Yeah, the 
three meters, you don't want to get too close to because they have fire. Oh, that proximity mine does a great job. I really like. Oh, hello. Surprise. It's. Oh, get out of there. Yikes. Hmm. Just have one of those. Nice. Okay, now we got our next ability. Now our next ability is Cryo Turret. So we just get to drop that down and it just freezes and does damage to enemies while we're doing other stuff like opening chests and takey take taking. It's a cool ability and I really dig it. <laughs> our objective, survive. And look, we completed it. Smell the storm in your blood, your stink of Enoch. Your kind are abominations, exile. Who the hell are you? Outrider. Impossible. Such untapped power, such confusion. You want answers. Whatever you were before, you're something new now. A second life. Don't waste it. Who? Who was that? Lord Seth? He's... He's altered. I think it's a little man. A little man. Altered? What the fuck does that mean? You... <laughs> you don't know what you are. Where'd you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's on the wrong side. Altered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. The intrigue. Who is the Seth character? Where is she? There. There. What is that? Go, go, go. Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Shira? You're alive. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. You got any intel for us? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on! I've just woken up to mud. And shit, I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So excuse me for not throwing you a little welcome party. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them not to land. Anything more advanced than a grease engine got fried. All our data. Wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine, so we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have- The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit, like the rest of us. You should have never woken up. What an... miss out on all this? Grand Marshal, we were too late. The hounds have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yaku. Yaku? He's still alive? Not too much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am? Ma'am? Never mind. I've got it covered. And we have our first mission here in Rift Town. 
We've unlocked a higher world tier, which happens as you continue to play the game, and it increases the game's difficulty, but it offers better loot, which is pretty fancy. So it goes all the way up to world tier 15. I personally have gotten up to world tier 10 already, and it gets pretty challenging. So now that we've played through the prologue, you have become entrenched in the lore and the world. You've seen that we leave Earth, 83 years goes by, we land on Enoch, we put get back in cryo after chaos ensues, the anomaly storm, the first anomaly storm happens, and then 31 years goes by, we wake up, Shira is old now, but she seems to be running Rift Town as the, the head of the ECA, and there's all these factions, and it's so cool, and I, I'm just loving it so much. So when I played the demo, we leave off on le at level seven, and we're just about to leave Rift Town. We've done all of our Rift Town quests, and then we're just about to leave Rift Town and go on with the main story quest. And so we're actually gonna skip ahead and pick up where the demo leaves off, with DLSS on, of course. And this portion of the gameplay was actually live streamed previously on Twitch. So if you want to tune in live for more content in the future, please do uh, click the link in the description or visit twitch.tv slash thestrangerevel to join in live next time. Otherwise, all other gameplays will make it here to YouTube eventually, don't you worry. We have our friend Superway, superstar mod, community manager, and I'm sure you recognize Superway's name. Superway is going to be helping me uh, achieve success in this game because it's a multiplayer game and so I definitely wanted to play this this part of it and uh, I'm just excited to get started and what's next that sound good dodging bullets out there no one needs a cool breeze that bad. yeah Superway is gonna take all of the death and destruction for me and then I just get to take all the credit for being awesome this is where it all happens this garage these grease stains and wrenches this is Jakob Dabrowski Sanctum Sanctorum. This is Jakob. You're welcome. He's one of my favorite characters. He's like... Just think, if this mission gets me killed, we'll never have to look at the stuff. He's basically again. like the Garrus of the Mass Effect. Like, he's best bro. Already. Okay, so we'll get a little bit of dialogue what here. What happened to everyone else? None of the other Outriders survived? Well, you had front row seats for the shit show that started it all. You know, most of us were dead that first day. The few dozen that were left, they did what we came here to do. They fucking explored. I mean, who do you think died trying to figure out we couldn't leave this fucking valley? Okay, so Rift Town is where we're at. This is kind of our home base. And I guess we're going to our first other destination of First City. A monument to our downfall, this city was the first human settlement on Enoch. Insurgents and predators now hide in the shadow of the Flores' engine. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens next. And again. Dobrowski has outdone himself. Volume's good? Let me know, chat. Whoa. <laughs> You've managed to keep my truck working after all these years? Well, I had to strip the AI systems, bypass the graphene cells, cost me 20 bottles of vodka and parts, but now our baby will run on anything. Diesel, turpentine, even fucking potatoes, if we could grow potatoes. Isn't the voice acting so good? You still got tunes? Tunes? Hey boss, we got no electronics. No tunes, no nothing. But somehow we make do. So we're on a mission to save humanity. Does that sound familiar? like the plot of every story ever. All right, so here are our little collectibles, what our journal entries here? here. What do we have here? Some enemies here. Some 
let's see, I have a few different weapons here. Let's throw out a cryo turret. Ooh! I'm trying to remember what my melee button is as well. One of the cool things about this game is that, um, what, where are you coming from? That in order to, my melee button, not my melee button. See how you can freeze them and then you can kind of run away or keep shooting or whatever it is you gotta do? So one of the only ways to heal in this game is to be dealing damage. Every class has a different way that they heal. The other thing that could be causing the game to be a little bit laggy is actually the server. So it might not actually have to do with my PC or anything like that. Thanks, Superwave, for doing all that killing so that I could just talk to the stream and pick up loot. Oh, I'm on fire. It's definitely oh, my hair, it's gone, because I'm on fire. Still on fire. You'd think I would have learned. I guess I could use an ability here. Ooh, Mitchell Launcher of Doom, huh? All right, that's going well. has to regen on hair. <laughs> this looks like a boss intro, doesn't it? It's a little scary right there. It's a little terrifying. All right, you're not the boss. You look like a boss. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. Definitely gonna use my blighted rounds here. So blighted rounds is casting decay on them. Yeah, I really like the Technomancer's ability to freeze. It's just that, oh, I'm on fire again. The thing with Technomancer is I feel like its abilities are a little less active with its focus on turrets and long range fight. Uh oh, I don't know what that ability is. Crash? Well, it's resisting interruption now, so. Whew. shot in the head and he's like, it's cool, whatever. It's fine, let me just shrug it off. Just shrug it off, it's fine. There is a lot of fire everywhere. Cryo turret doing all that good stuff. Look at all this loot. Take. Oh, is there nothing more for me to do? Need some baddies for me over here. Up here. Journal entry unlocked. Ooh, some harvesting. Gonna harvest this thing here. Yeah, sorry, my health bar is actually right where my camera is, so you can't see my health bar. But just know that I did great and I was never even close to dying. That's all you need to know. 
Yeah, isn't it funny? The demo actually left us off at level seven. Like you couldn't go above level seven. And I was like, the perfect number. All right, where are we headed to next? We're searching. We're following our white line of never getting lost. This shit is gonna take some getting used wow, to. Wow, how cool is that? So this is very similar to the ability that the trickster uses, which is to kind of like augment space and time to kind of like slow everything down in a small range. This is so cool. All right, we've got some cover here, which makes me think we need it. We use some blighted rounds here. Still have four to use of the blighted rounds. want you frozen. I don't want you anywhere near me. Thank you. Put a cryo turret there. Freeze you. It's so satisfying to freeze an enemy, man. I love it. And I'm on fire again. It's fine. What's the point of not being on fire anyway? Is there stuff going on back here? What am I hearing? Maybe just that electricity. <laughs> Superway is all the way over there. That's the thing is with Trickster, they're just always all these different. Oh, I'm going to die. Trickster is constantly going to. Oh, my goodness. Nope. I'm down. Let them leave. All right, we're doing better, we're doing better. Cryo turret, still doing cryo turret things. Still on fire, cause I'm kinda bad at getting out of the fire here. Oh, that's a fire tornado, that's why I'm on fire. Get down. Yeah, so that's the time anomaly. So you can see he kind of slows down and we get the chance to... Oh, it's a captain, I see, all right. Nice, we did it! We defeated the captain! Oh, there's still more people here. We glided rounds and we'll do mission launch. you. All right, next. Throw that cryo turret, take you out. All right, we're, uh, our abilities are going a lot slower here. Don't run towards me. All right, looks like we have some catching up to do. Did I even get, no, I didn't pick up my loot. I got a take it, take, take. Superway will be fine. Superway will be fine without me. Eat a restock, so we'll go ahead and do that. <laughs> we definitely have some catching up to do. Whoops. Throw a turret. And now look at me, I get to hang out up here. Am 
My missile launcher didn't even do anything. All right, nailed it! Look at that! The outrider. Is it true you're from Earth? What was it like? Oh, nothing like you imagine. My generation, we lived our whole lives knowing Earth was over. We killed to survive, to earn our seats on the Flores. I got a few happy memories, but they weren't much better than meals on death row. See, I'm so intrigued to know about this Outrider. Like, why does she call herself, like, Scrappy Street Kid? Like, what does she do to get herself on death row? See, the, like, the Shabu brain is cooking. There's some notes I'm So here. fascinated. I want to know what's going on. Landmark solar panels. Let's read that journal entry. Installation of solar panels is now complete. We expect to meet 50% of energy demands for the second year. We expect to expand. Although the reactor could provide twice the energy that we required, we hope we've learned our lessons. If we can finally build a society powered by renewable energy, perhaps there is hope for our species yet. Doesn't matter. Dry, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that support so much. Sky as well, thank you for subscribing with your Prime Gaming sub. Hey, Lalexi, how are you? Let's see, can I go over here? I also love that these landscapes are just, just truly lush. Even though it's like, it's so electronic and electric and strange and alien, you still have all this like lush greenery and... Enter Historian Inspiration Area? I think we shall. This is further than the demo, yeah. We actually started today, I don't know, was that 40, 40 minutes ago? We started today um, where the demo left off. So it's World Tier 5, Level 7, and just before leaving Rift City, I believe. Oh, oh that's quick. They're right there. Ha ha ha! Alright, let's use this while we're here. Alright, blighted. Good stuff. Woo! Did you see his skeleton? It's like an x-ray that ability from Trickster. The audio could be a tad higher. Does anybody else agree audio should be a little bit higher? The combat sounds are kind of loud though. That's my only issue. Woo, 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 I'm stuck. Missile launcher you in the face. That's what I'll be doing. And it works great, honestly. Combat is loud. Yeah. And they just disappear. Look at that. No problem. We nailed it. Alright, what's next? Ah, Superboy's on fire! Sometimes I feel like 
I can't see. Sometimes these trickster abilities are just too much. Pick up some ammo without getting on fire, and we're on fire. Ah! My hair just disappears when I'm on fire. Now, I saw there was kind of an area over there, but... Ugh, don't attack me. Easily taken care of. All right. We got the cremator journal entry unlocked. Ooh, chest. Take. What did we get? Okay, Wraith's Best. Said that was a boost for me, but let's see. Yeah, all right. Look at that. Okay. We can use Wraith's Best. And bang for your buck, tool of destruction, activating the skill gets a 100% base ammo increase for the selected tool. Well, we haven't unlocked that yet, so... Oh, but we do have a class point to spend. What should we spend it on, my friends? Let's see, we have increased weapon damage by 8%, increased max health. So this is Demolisher. Hmm. I was kind of trying to decide what I wanted to go with. I think this is the like very gadget heavy skill tree. And I really kind of don't like that. Pestilence is a little bit more focused around the decay bullets, which I kind of like. So maybe we'll go forward with that. This is anomaly power. Reduce cooldowns. Oh, reduce cooldowns is really good, though, because some of these cooldowns can be kind of long. But let's go with weapon damage for now, and that way we have one in each. And then... Oh, we already have this activated? We already have that activated! And cooldowns are still a little bit long. <gasps> Look how pretty this is! Makes me want to travel. See, I know some players are like... The combat in this game and all of the different class and the best build and the best way to farm for legendaries and get your mods. I know some people are about that, but I'm just like about this. I just want everything to be pretty. And I just want to feel like I've escaped into a different world. And I feel like this game does it for me. This is what I was excited about. All right, moving on. Need to restock. Awfully quiet here. That's always a little bit suspicious. Is it not? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, they already saw us. Good. Oh no. Oh no, I wasted my blighted rounds! not going well. Do I like this weapon? It's alright. It's not, yeah, it's definitely not very good for me. Ah! Why am I, like, stuck in walk mode? We gotta be smart here. What's happening? What's happening in this area? What is that? What is that? They're like rotating lasers. Why am I stuck in walking mode? Someone, does somebody know the answer to that? Why am I stuck in walk? Did I press walk? Is that a toggle? PC. 
Yes, I will be finishing The Last of Us next week. Not, I mean, I'll be continuing the playthrough. Um, we're playing against um, NPCs here. Okay, this being stuck in walk thing is not good. a lot of health. Oh no. Z is a toggle for walk. All right, let's see if that fixed it. It's a little bit harder to aim at a skeleton for some reason. Alright, almost down. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, that fixed it. Z fixed it. Thank you. Trial launcher, all of you. I'm sure you're not all supposed to be just kind of like hanging out in there, the death chamber. Boom. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but <gasps> level nine. Tool of destruction. All right, we finally got that tool of destruction ability. So let's see what that does. Go to our skills. We have here tool of destruction. Press the skill button to equip a rocket launcher that can interrupt enemies and deal so much damage. Hold the skill button for a mini gun that deals 20 damage per shot. I am never going to remember that, but that seems super cool. All right, shall we head to the radio tower? Got to save our friend. Get back! I'll kill him! Calm down. Not a step closer, I swear. Rip him open! Get back! Ooh! And our friend was watching. No hostage situation here. Who are you? Shira Goodman sent me to find you. Thought you might want to see this. That's a frequency. What the? Where did you get? Where? Jane! You're hurt! Nothing, Doc. Tell me the briefcase is safe. Oh, the truck is gone. I oh, motherfucker. Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 listen to me, listen to me. I might be able to stop the bleeding, but you have to tell me where your people took my truck. I will save your life. Promise? Yes. Go down past river. All right, Doc, move back. Wait, no, 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 no. I just gave this man my word. We can't leave him alive. He knows too much. No, he doesn't have to die. We already have what we want. <gasps> James! No! Oh God. oh God. Get her up. I'm taking oh her back no. to my truck. No! You have to find the doc's truck. It's more important than me. You have no idea. There's a briefcase under the oil tank. Bring it back safe. I was not expecting that at all, but I should have. This is the world that we're in. Every time this Hold game. On, Hold on. Does a cutscene where you're Beijing, like, you know where this is headed. Me. They're and like, you go, don't. Ryder. This world sucks. Go. Oh man, poor Jane. And just so everybody knows, I know a big sticking point in the demo was the camera shake. There was some very dramatic, artistic, like camera shake motions. If that's really bothering you, and a lot of people say it, I'll turn it off. I think they added, what are you doing in here? Super wait, he's dead.
Yeah, you got him. He's dead. You feel better now? All right. Cool. I don't know where to go here. Ride the, the cable, cable car? car? Okay, here. Down to the slums. It's the quickest route to the river. The truck should be on the other side. Oh, gee, come on, don't... Make me dig my own grave next. Oh, no. Oh. I don't think that means good things for you. This better be worth it. Oh my god. It's still intact. The satellite uplink. The last satellite uplink. So, that's what you were looking for when you found me? Yeah. And it still works? How? The case, it's mu metal. It insulates. It, it's never been opened, so the electronics inside have been safe from the goddamn anomaly. So, what does it connect to? The Flores. I thought it was all disassembled for the colonization. Mostly. But we lost contact towards the end. Half of the resources we were meant to have are still up there. They're trapped in the supply pods. Seeds, electronics, hard drives full of data, all out of reach. We could rebuild civilization with those resources, but they're useless to us unless we can find a place beyond the storms. And no, it, it might sound like a dream, but for those of us that believed, it kept us going. So this is it. That's why Shira sent me to get you. She wants what's inside those pods. So, what do we do now? Your frequency. I can use it to locate the source of the signal. I need to reach an antenna up high somewhere. You got one in mind? Yeah. Eagle Peaks. But, uh, not yet. Is there something else that needs to be done first? I told you. Everyone who goes on this stupid mission ends up dead. I myself did end up dead quite a few times, I think. Okay, do we go into the nest? I think we go into the nest. I don't want to go into the nest. I don't at all, but we're doing it anyway. Here we go. Yeah, what an immersive experience to be feeling warm when I'm in a volcano. Wow, that, that NVIDIA DLSS technology is really, <laughs> really top tier immersive. <laughs> I would not want immersive smells from this volcano, though. I'm sure it smells just like rotten eggs. I bet it does. It kind of does look like Dodongo's Cavern a little bit. Okay, it seems like this is boss time. Oh boy. All right, let's get the blight rounds in. Let's just get this first round done as quick as possible. Don't come towards me. Yeah, the run and gun here seems to be a good technique. Because then you're constantly doing damage, which is constantly healing you.
down to the second phase. All right, second phase, here we go. Where are you? Right, okay. Get these out. Are you hitting me on the head or something? Rude. Light going. Okay, we're segmented here. Second phase wasn't too hard, if I remember correctly. Can't miss though. Stay away from me. Oh my gosh, it's so much damage. Oh my gosh, I don't want to die. I feel like I am not a tank, and I'm being treated like one. Leave me alone! Almost to the last phase here. Ammo. I gotta collect more ammo. I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh boy. Here we go. Can I do this? Does it have like a weak spot? Oh, we don't have any ammo. All right. All right, so we just have to kind of follow this thing so that we don't get eaten up by it. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Okay, got some ammo. Oh, this is going fast. All right. Got some ammo there. Nope, that's not good. have to constantly be looking at the ground, which makes things kind of difficult. I just kind of shooting it at the bait. Oh, it's going the other way. Oh, it's going the other way. Ah! All right. <laughs> All right. Need more ammo. Dang it. Okay, I'm healed up. Got more ammo. Healing up, I'm healing up slowly but surely. Oh, come on though. That's not accurate. Our ammo. Doing damage. Oh no, my dodge, it always lands right on top of me. Oh. 
We got it! Ah, we got it! Dead beast! Oh, we killed it very dead! Alright, we did it. I'm so proud. Look at all those resources! Alright, look at you. You are dead. And that's going to be all for today's gameplay of Outriders. What did you think? Did you have fun with it? Did you have as much fun as I did? I obviously love this game. I'm going to be playing it quite a bit, but I definitely want to know what you think of it. And of course, please tell me how beautiful you think it is, because that's, in my opinion, unquestionable. And of course, all my gratitude to NVIDIA and Outriders for sponsoring today's video and to NVIDIA for sending me a GeForce RTX 3080 so that I could turn DLSS on and enjoy Outriders at its absolutely most beautiful. Everybody, please remember to click the link in the description below, support those who support this channel, and learn a little bit more about DLSS and see how it can benefit you and your Outriders experience. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for spending your time with me. Please do remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this little channel right here, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. Whether that's a The Last of Us Part 2, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, or whatever else surprises might be in store. That's all. I love you all.